So recently my Bamboo X1 camera died and so here it is. It didn't really die as much as it started uh, exhibiting kind of artifacting blue and purple, especially when the heat bed actually kind of, or the chamber heated up a little bit. So that had to be replaced and now it works fine. But this is the old one. And when I took it out, I saw something interesting. And I wonder if you can see the same thing. So when you look at the connector, we see it's actually four pins. So black, red, green, and white. And what interface is four pins? Do, 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 do. That's right, USB. So this is most likely a USB camera in here. So camera module. So I figure let's see exactly what it is. Let's plug it into a computer and uh, see what we can do. So the pinout for USB is pretty simple. Red is five volts, white is data minus, green is data plus, black is ground. So with that set in mind, we have a little USB-C breakout board here and let's just wire it up really quick and uh, go from there. So I'm actually gonna do something a bit weird because it's me. So I'm gonna cut it kind of halfway through so we have a bit of space on the old connector. So I'm gonna actually save this for now. We'll put this aside for later in the video. And let's just take the four wires off the old connector and we are just gonna wire it up by volts. Gonna do data minus, there we go. Green as data plus, okay, and then red. Cool. And let's get a laptop. So I'm gonna not pick. Have a USB-C to C cable. So we're gonna plug this guy in, plug this other end in, and plug it in like that. And then, nada. But not all hope is up yet because it might be that we just don't have the right resistor stuffing on this here breakout board. In which case, we just need a dongle and we need a um, type A to type C cable. Right, so here's our dongle. Gonna plug it in like that and type A to type C. So we're gonna plug the type C in back here. And then we are going to plug in the dongle. There we go, much better. So whoop. You can see USB accessory wants to connect, USB hub, yes. And we have a couple devices because it's a hub, a second vendor ID. Let's see if photo boost actually recognizes the camera. So that's my main camera, but look, UDA S01A. And look at that. Ta-da! We have the same camera. Ooh. But that is the uh, bamboo camera. This is cool, which means the USB, uh, the camera is USB in the USB. But this gives me another idea. If we can take the bamboo camera and make a USB, will the bamboo printer itself let you use a USB camera like a Logitech C920? And remember how we saved up the connector before? So this is the side that goes into the bamboo. Well, we can do the exact same thing with a USB-C connector for the for the camera. So, okay, so I couldn't find the right cable, but it finds something else. So my Logitech mouse actually came with this dongle, which is a USB A to Type C. So we can we can get this one, this, 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 and then the C920 here. So we can plug it in kind of like this, and then we can use the uh, use the C to C cable. Kind of like that, and that should work. Although this is kind of dumb bill help, but man, eh, it'll work, I think, maybe. So let's start this up and see if um, we get a video. Yikes, but this should be good enough. But it's only a test, like we're actually planning to run this ever. That should be good enough. So now in theory, I can plug this guy into this guy and my X1 carbon is actually busy right now, but we're gonna jump to that, plug it in. All right, so let's take our hodgepodge of cables into the bamboo here and see what we can do. So when you go inside the bamboo, the camera is kind of to the left. Where there's actually a little compartment that we can access. So put down the cable hodgepodge for a second and I'm going to look for a little trap door here, right there. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to fish for the cable from our camera, which is here. Unplug it, and we are going to take and plug it in instead, which is kind of encouraging. So there's light on the C920. But the question is, can the same thing be said about the Bamboo Handy app? Can I actually monitor a print right now? And the answer is yes. So if you look at the Bamboo Handy app here, I'm actually moving the camera around. And uh, that's the C920. The answer is yes. So here's the feed from the C920. Uh, it's a little grainy. I don't think it's really expecting that. And probably, you know, the cabling isn't amazing. 
but it's working. So let's uh, let's do a print with this. It's interesting. So I'd also try to connect an Insta360 link, um, but there seems to be a bug where half the images are very green and the top of the image isn't. But it's kind of interesting to see uh, that it does also work. Just uh, the Insta360 sitting on top. As you can see, not ideal in terms of uh, an image quality. Okay, so one more test. Uh, same setup, this time with a uh, DJI Osmo Pocket, the newest one, which one's ASD Pop 3. There we go, and that's what I was filming for. In webcam mode, and you can see the kind of video footage there. However, the same problem in Bamboo Handy where we see it's uh, it's half green, which is interesting. And for those wondering now, it looks like an A7R connected in uh, webcam streaming mode will actually work with it. I did try, but there's just a blank image. And yeah, same thing with the ZV-10. I guess Sony cameras just don't like it. Either. So we'll go back to the Insta360, I guess. Uh, I can't find my Logitech Brio, or otherwise I would use that. So kind of interesting side finding would be a DJI camera, at least, is that when you switch settings here to 720 instead of 1080, uh, you still get the green, but you get about half as much screen. So I'm guessing it's a bandwidth issue on the USB port, something like that, uh, which is kind of strange. I wish I could, uh, there was some more tweaking here so I could just tweak things like resolution, right? But when you switch it and wait a little bit for it to actually switch, that's just kind of the behavior there. So interesting. I'll leave it at the end for this. So within Bamboo Studio, I'm just going to try to print uh, something fun. So let's do this impossible pyramid. Uh, let's print it in translucent, PETG in red like that. 0.2 standard's fine. We're just going to slice it. Okay, two hours, print plate. And we're going to intentionally also do time lapse. We're going to enable the answer and then we can go send. And then let's see what our webcam visualization looks like. You enable a camera, and would you look at that? You can see we got go live at our core monitoring working, and I'm actually going to just kind of let it sit like this for a while, and uh, I'm going to try to uh, record it for a little bit, and we'll see what the time looks like at the end as well. Very curious if uh, things like the uh, AI detection works as well. You would think it does, uh, just because. Uh, so we're still going to do first their inspection. We're still going to do AI monitoring on medium. Uh, I don't care about the build plate position detection, so that's fine. I've never had this enabled anyway. But in theory, just because you know the AI model is kind of probably tuned to look from the side where the camera would be on the left here, but I'm also thinking that, well, it's not necessarily looking for those features. It might just be looking for things like stringing and such, because it's not like the AI model works that well in the first place. So uh, let's see where this goes. And uh, yeah, I'll be back next time. So this is the final time lapse that came out. And uh, one thing I noticed was that I thought that uh, I actually had the wrong AMS film loaded because I had selected red translucent plastic, but I got gray in the video. Uh, well, what do you know, in real life, it was actually red. But um, it looks like the image is actually grayscale. So there's definitely some processing that's not getting done correctly with the uh, other webcams, but uh, it's interesting results. And uh, maybe one day Bamboo will actually release a kit that lets you uh, use whatever webcam you want, because I think it's interesting to get different angles and use the pr uh, printer's built-in time-lapse functionality, but everything otherwise seems to work just fine. So maybe in the future, this is going to be an option, but for now, this is where we're at. You can use your own USB webcam, especially if you use a potato one like the C920. Otherwise, just pony up the $50 and get it placed with the regular bamboo one. Thanks for watching.